bless you guys. Coming to you from uh, Illinois. Uh, I had a discussion the other day about, you know, the spirit, okay, of uh, like the prophets did of the old. And that we as Christians, okay, and, that, and if we meditate, that we can get that same kind of uh, insight uh, through meditation. Be like the gurus and uh, and the monks and the you know that Jesus went to all these different places and he and he tapped in and you know the pineal gland which is one eye that India has um, and you know and it's backed up by saying you know if your eye be single your whole body you know um, I just I just want to come to you and let you know that in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God, and He spoke everything into existence. So the energy, which has cannot be created nor destroyed, is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and He was the intelligent designer that was able to speak the world into existence and bring matter and uh, space and time and existence all at the same time. And I just want you to know Jesus, Yeshua, is the Word. And this is my, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. That means everything that God ever spoke will never. It's that energy force and it cannot cannot be destroyed. Okay? Now, so, it says how can one learn unless somebody somebody teaches them? You know, it says that he gives us preachers, teachers, evangelists you know, to go speak. But the prophets of old, uh, the, the kings of old, they Without the word of God, there was this dark, it was dark times. And until they read the word of God, then it coincided with the spirit that this was the truth and the only way that man should live. And they started implementing. And some things they implemented all the way. Sometimes they didn't implement none of it. They didn't, they didn't obey God's words. See, that's the difference. We're in a... A physical realm but we're spiritual right and there is the spiritual the things that are unseen which are the angels and uh, I'll talk more about a lot of things have been coming up about you know talking to dead people I see dead people all that stuff I'll, I'll get into that it's in that it gets in the what the Bible calls necromancy and familiar spirits but uh, right now we're just going to stay focused on uh, on the word and you know it says that Christ died for the sins of the whole world okay so everyone Christ died for everyone every race every religion everybody okay now so those who have not heard will be judged by the laws and the things that they do however they do not receive the spiritual awakening they do not receive the gospel they do not receive that relationship with the Creator so the power of the gospel is to preach it and to speak the word of God in season out of season, being prepared to give an answer of the hope that lies within you. So speaking the truth in love and correcting people with all long suffering patience and doctrine. You have to have the doctrine because the doctrine, it says that when, when you hear somebody preach the word of God, you want to go and compare it to scripture to see if that person says whether or not it be true or not right so if it says oh the rapture is going to be coming because of signs then you got to look in the bible the bible says Matthew 24 immediately after the tribulation then then uh, uh michael will sell him off the trump and then this will go gather his elect and then that's the first resurrection okay so you see what I'm saying? You have to go back to scripture on every aspect. Oh man, there was this good angel. People came talk to me. 
you know, and they were like these angelic Martians, you know, or there's Martians out there, they're telling me how to live, be wise, and, you know, get, you know, and do all these different things, I can get wisdom and knowledge through, through my works from my, my stuff, or whatever, I don't know, the thing is, listen, the word of God, knowing this first, 2 Peter 1.20, right, Knowing this verse that no scripture is of any private interpretation. For it came not by the will of men. So men didn't want to go, oh, I'm going to come up with a good story. No. But holy men of God spoke, wrote it down, as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So that's why God says to study the scriptures, show yourself approved unto God a work, and be not ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So when you hear something, you can seek it. So like in, in Proverbs it says, seek it like fine gold and silver. It says, in Ezekiel it says, wisdom cries her streets, and her voice in the streets. She cries out, how long will you simple ones love and simplicity and scorners delight their scorning? And fools hate knowledge. Turn to my reproof, okay? That in the scriptures are found eternal life. It's not through anything else. It's not through doing push-ups. It's not through becoming, a, a, you know, a hard worker. It's not through becoming, you know, uh, you know, better than anybody else. It's not because all your righteousness is filthy rags. So how are you supposed to know? I mean, what happens if you just say, well, you know what, I feel, I feel, if you're a good person, you know, I, you're going, God's going to take everybody to heaven. No, it doesn't say that. All our righteousness as his filthy rags. You know what a filthy rag? I mean, it's like, yeah, I don't want to touch it. God don't want to touch you, man. We're not too capable. His holiness and righteousness is above. It, it cannot receive any unclean thing. That's why he sent a mediator, Christ Jesus. He became God. Isaiah 9, 6. Unto us a child born, and the government should be upon his shoulder, and his name should be called one of the counsel, Prince of Peace, Almighty God, Everlasting Father. So Jesus Christ, the everlasting Father, took on flesh, was born unto men, died through the hands of the crucifixion. You understand? There's no other plan. There was no other way that you can get you know be right with God except through Jesus Christ. Now, for that relationship. You know, you're not going to try to get out of it and get, you know, stop from getting out of it. You're going to go into the fire where Daniel went. Said, Don't worry about it, old king. God can save me, man. I'm not worried about that. But if he doesn't, it's okay. No matter what happens. Many times God delivered me in the army. And I just watched him do things. He made things happen. And I was like, what? But he showed forth. And allowed me to continue to see his working in my life. Regardless of what men do to you or do against you, you always got to be faithful. The faithful thing is, God's word is faithful. God's word is faithful. There is, all scripture is given for inspiration and righteousness, instruction and reproof to make the man of God thoroughly perfect one nothing. It doesn't say, if you meditate, you're going to receive these certain things. God says, when he says the word meditate, look at the content. He says, meditate on his word. To have this transcendental meditation, which is a new age meditation, it's it's very dangerous. It's a, it's, uh, I've, I've looked and researched it and... Uh, uh, that's not what God wants. I mean, He doesn't want us to become empty-headed. He, because you know, a, you know, an empty vessel is 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 room for Satan. Okay. Now, you have the Spirit of God. Well, do you, what 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 fellowship does does righteousness have with the fruit? You know, the unfruitful works of darkness. So you have to reprove it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm reproving the unfruitful works of darkness. You might think that certain things make you closer and right, but it's not our actions that make us right with God. 
It's our surrendering and our love towards the Messiah and our repentant, broken, contrite heart, okay, that we submit unto the Lord and we love people so we don't do bad things, okay? So we walk in purity. So when you walk after the Spirit, you won't fulfill the deeds of the flesh. If you're so busy working, I mean, you know, just preaching the gospel, healing, healing the sick, raising the dead, um, you know, there ain't going to be no time for that other silly stuff. All right, man. Love you guys. Keep it in mind. And the word is everlasting.